So we, we just uh, got off from the bus. Now the tour leader told us to wait there to uh, to collect all people. And actually, two people did not show up. They didn't come actually in district. We were only four people uh, in the whole uh, trip with the uh, tour guide. You can at the end of the tour give some tips if you like to the tour guide. He tried to provide really good information um, along the trip. So I recorded some of his speech. But here, take advantage of time and go to the restroom and buy some stuff if you want to buy and it's the last point you can eat something because maybe you spend more than two hours in Machu Picchu site going around the historical places there or archaeological sites there here they had a really great restaurant actually the restaurant had a really great view and there had the flag of every country I was surprised they had also flag of my country you know and yeah it was great amazing i saw flag of every country very international um, so from here uh, we entered to the site and this, we started the trip there was actually uh, an, another trail walking trail inside the machu picchu but it takes you longer time if you want to go there you have to really arrive there in the morning because that trail actually takes you to really really high elevation to the mountain and that's so crazy if you have that stamina I recommend you to go otherwise just don't go that that far and yeah just be prepared and have water it's a local orchid an endemic orchid it doesn't grow anywhere else I repeat and it just blooms during this season of the year well, the rest of the time it looks like a simple plant. Which one? This one? The red one. This red one here. This one. Why wakanki? Wakanki means pride. By the shape of the petals of, of, of tears. Of mm. yeah. Interesting. We have an average like 400 varieties of orchids in all this region and that's the most representative one. And it's pretty difficult to see it because it blooms during a certain time of the year but also because it grows on the cliffs. Um. That's the reason why most of the time you see them, but on the tops of these mountains, not exactly over here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm pretty lucky having one like this in that place. Although we have a risk of rain, the water is pretty good. Uh -huh. Keep in mind that most of the time in this place we have rains, and most of the time the place is cloudy and foggy. Mm -hmm. But we have the pretty good luck to have the a place like this now mm -hmm. and we're pretty lucky and as I was telling you now we'll sand to the upper part and from up there we'll see the whole panoramic view of the place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll walk by a trail by a pathway which was not which is not an, uh, an original trail of course it was just built in the year 1995 but if we talk about an Inca trail from this Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Promotion signal. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about hallucinogenic plants. The most popular one is ayahuasca. Jungles and the Andes. Of course, the Incan state understood the strategic location of this area. That's the reason why they ordered to construct this place here 
Pachacopi died in the government of the 9th Inca Emperor, whose name was Pachacopi, who reformed Old Incan State. The fact that the building this place here was the connection between the jungle and the Andes, thanks to the city, with the main purpose to control the jungle production. They oh. wanted to control the whole production of that region by this different type of species. Special. And we're only 167 ones, <laughs> but they were supported by thousands. <laughs> we were not agreed with the uh, with the administration. <laughs> Look at the llama here. Oh. It's above my auntie in Machu Picchu. Oh my God. the wild llama here. If they are wild. Okay. Look at the name this place like this, the locals, who made that name famous, Hiram Bingo. The American squatter who visited this place for the first time in July 23rd of 1911, was exploring this land, trying to find out the capital, or the Indian capital in the jungle, a lost city, Vilcabamba, is the name of that place. On the way looking for that place, exploring this area next to the river, he got, he got a place known as Mandolpampa, located up behind of that mountain. And there he met a farmer. He had an interview with him, asking him if he knew something about the lost city of the Incas. The farmer didn't know anything about that site, but he said, I know some constructions of there. So Bingen 